What would you do if you wired $250,000 to a manufacturer overseas and wasn't sure if they'd even deliver? That's exactly what I did to build Hero Machine Co. And it could go completely sideways. The hardest part about sourcing equipment overseas isn't quality control. It's trying to stay awake on a 26 hour flight while you're jamming your knees into the back of a seat that was clearly designed for a nine year old. Go to the Philippines. <laughs> the time zones, the language barrier, even the food. No, it's good. a wild ride, but it's all part of building something better. Most people think buying overseas is a huge risk and yeah, it can be risky. No, no, no. Oh, case. never mind. Okay, no film, no film. But only if you're lazy because building a serious machine takes a serious commitment and there's no cutting corners. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. The problem over here isn't the parts, it's the process. And that's where Hero Machine Code does something different. Because we start with the best parts from all over the world. Servo motors from Japan, gearboxes from Switzerland, software and resonators from China, linear motion straight out of Taiwan, baby. And we're pulling electronics from France and sheet metal from the Philippines. What more could you ask for? It's the freaking dream team of international commerce. And the design comes from right here in beautiful Tennessee. You might be asking yourself, why this international approach? And that's because simply nobody makes everything the best. So we cherry pick the good stuff and assemble it with skilled labor and really tight quality control standards. We bring all those parts to one central factory where the infrastructure is absolutely dialed in. Highly trained workers, Kaizen workflows. Best sort, set an order, shine, standardized, sustain, just like we do back at home. And then this is all the workflow of all their operations as they go through every station. These are the people that are in each station, where they stand, the guys check in and out every day. Precision testing, it all happens there. And after the machines are built, we put them through hell. We run test cuts. We stress test the gantry with an accelerometer. The accelerations we're looking for. So this is going to tell us how many G's of acceleration we're getting on the, the laser bed. I know, but we're here in the factory right now, so we blow the thing up. <laughs> it's not fine. Right. We went positive 2.1 and negative 2. So that's 4.1 G's of possible acceleration on the machine. That is blazing fast. That's running at 95 meters per minute. We pull all the sheet metal covers, chasing every single wire, removing redundant parts, and adding reliability at every single connection point. Anything you would do when spending your cold hard money on a piece of equipment, we do for you. So this can move around. So it has to have these the screws. So we go through every nut, every bolt, every thread. Hey, can they make a tall version for me so I can stand up in here all the way? Paint's already coming off around these. So we had a washer. Oh, that's clever. Magnets this time instead of the Velcro. So we're just checking cable management, making sure there's no sharp corners. They're gonna wear through these lines over time. We used to have the lines coming out here on the outside. Now we've tucked them down inside uh, behind all the sheet metal covers just to protect them a little bit better. Coming to the back of every single bearing block all the way around the machine. I actually don't see a torque wrench on any of those carts. We're just using the impact. It's getting serious. Now we can see what we got going on in here. They got heat shrink, but it never got heat shrinked. See that? That should be tight. That's right. But that's wrong. He's going to inspect every one of these. Yeah, they, I mean, it definitely needs a cleaning. All the shavings from tapping all the holes and stuff are still on it. This is kind of loose. I don't know how tight. Oh, yeah. Can't get to it now, it's too late. We need the sheet metal off to tighten that all the way up. What is it? There's a set screw on it, but it's not set. Yeah, I gotta understand what this is. Cause that could be a easy little technical fix. Or a really difficult one where we're chasing all kinds of stupid shit down yeah, and it's a $3. The, the Let's delete this. Here's our limit switch. This has already been tested. Limit switches down here for the exchange table. We tested both of these yesterday. So when it lands in your shop, it's not some Alibaba mystery box. It's a bulletproof tool built by people that actually run metal shops. Look, I started Hero Machine Co. because I was tired of buying machines that look good on paper, but fell apart in the real world and were backed by terrible customer support. We're not selling fairy tales. We're here to build tools that pay for themselves. And we understand that ROI means machine uptime and you really shouldn't need a passport to buy reliable equipment. That's why I did the traveling for you. And in the process, I vetted the entire supply chain, enforcing safety standards, implementing lot tracking on every single build, 
and hiring an independent QC. Ma is our on-site quality control that's employed by us and doesn't work for any of the factories. And I spent a ton of time just communicating that we want quality, not price. You're not trashing parts. You no, can, no, that's no. your rework. Yeah. Okay. The whole world comes here to shop and most of them are shopping on price alone. It doesn't mean they're not capable of building nice equipment. It just means if you're gonna pay bottom dollar, you're gonna get a piece of junk. This is how you confirm that the tables are straight, flat, yeah. perpendicular is with this 0.01 microns of accuracy on that inspection arm. And we're gonna bring you all the benefits without the jet lag. So if you're running a metal shop and you want gear that actually holds up, not just showroom bait, check out heromachineco.com. And do me a favor, guys. Drop a comment down below if you've ever been burned by a piece of equipment that looked good online. And please hit like, subscribe. We're gonna take you guys on our journey and show you the entire process start to finish of how we build these machines and bring them to your shop.